we will take uh, one manufacturing order so that it can be production or process order depends on your industry if you are using pp as your um, pp module then you can take production order if it is pppi module then we can take the process order whatever the production order or process order our job is same that means cost calculation point of view there is no difference only your cost collect uh, cost object will be different one so sim similar to your internal order so we are going to take one manufacturing order let's say production order and uh, that we will uh, you can just consider it is one order your short living object internal order so with reference to that we should have the order type we should have the number range your settlement profile everything will be there like what we have in our internal order so we will take that base as internal order and uh, with reference to that internal order we are going to calculate the cost so when you are going to calculate uh, when we will create the production order again it will be created by the production people so the initial status you will find as created crtd means it is just created okay if the status is created then no transactions are allowed in this status then with this uh, we just created this one then here we have the option we will calculate it is actually discrete manufacturing when we calculated the standard cost standard cost we calculate for one item so if you are going to manufacture one item then what what will be the cost and right now also we are going to take the base for your cost calculation standard cost only because uh, um, once you've created the production order so we are going to calculate your preliminary cost or you can say those are the plant cost only but difference is standard cost is for one item whereas preliminary cost we are going to calculate for one particular batch for one particular production order so let's say we are going to manufacture five items for that five items what will be our cost what will be our preliminary cost that we are going to calculate when we have only created the production order just no transactions are there we created the production order and now we are going to analyze so we are going to analyze our cost on the basis of production order so here you will find all the plant data plant informations whatever we have used in our uh, uh, standard cost calculation so same informations will be there because actual consumption is not yet done right so uh, we calculated the standard cost for one year and on that basis we are going to calculate the production order so it, it is calculated it's not it's not any postings nothing because right now it is only just created or in created mode so we we have analyzed all our cost on the basis of this production order next we can release it so you will find the status as real released means now we can start the processing so processing can be started so next we are going to do it's released then we are going to do the goods movement that means now we are going to issue the goods so gmps will be there goods movement posted so that means we are going to issue all type of raw materials your packing materials everything whatever you have maintained in your bill of material so as for your bill of material data because everything we are going to integrate with this production order so here you will find your bill of material data you will find your routing data you will find your costing details you, you can uh, have the gr option so everything will be there so on that basis now we are going to start the goods movement or goods movement postings will be there so we are going to issue the goods we are going to receive the goods also it's not only the goods will be there we are also going to issue so all type of like uh, all type of activities we are going to perform here so we have just uh, like if you follow here the status so first we created uh, the production order it's just production order created then on the basis of production order we are going to issue the goods goods issued but before that we have to release it so goods issue will be there once you will issue the goods you will find the status it is created released and gm base ps then here the here actually we are not going to issue the goods we are also going to confirm the operation 
yeah, confirm the operations. That means we are also going to transfer the activity. So right now your activity with uh, your activity with your cost centers or activity type. From there we are going to transfer to um, production order. So confirmation of your operations or indirectly you can say activity confirmation. Then goods received. So we are going to receive the finished stock. Now here, when you're going to receive the finished stock, let's say we are, we have created a production order for five items. So maybe it is possible that we are going to 100% receive here. So that means we are manufacturing five, five items and yield is also five items. So if it is 100% yield, so five items received. So this will be nothing but your FG. But this FG, we have to calculate on the basis of actual cost. So we need to revalue because during the month, uh, here cost calculation is not difficult. Already we have the cost set and supporting settings are there. Here the month and activities are important because here we need to reevaluate everything because right now, uh, when you have calculated your preliminary cost, so that time we have used the activity or when we confirm the activity here, so we confirm the activity on the basis of your planned cost, whatever earlier we calculated. Then during the month, we are posted various transactions related to different cost centers. So we transfer this cost or we need to transfer this cost to production cost center that, that we need to link with your activity types. So once everything we will do here, that means revaluation is required. Overhead also revaluation is required. So once everything is done, definitely your actual cost will be different from your plant cost. So we need to calculate the variance. One option. Second option, we are manufacturing five items, but we received only four items. Okay, so that means on the closing date, one item is not converted into finished stock, but that does not mean that it is semi-finished stock. It is not, it is not semi-finished stock also. It is there in the process. It's not yet received. And today is the closing date, but we have to evaluate this material also. So we are considering this one as your work in process. This is balanced item FG. This is also balanced item, but this is not finished stock. So this WIP we need to evaluate. We need to calculate. If it is variance, then it is P and L item. But if it is WIP, then it is just replacement of your FG, right? So FG we are going to evaluate as balanced item. So WIP also will be evaluated as balanced item. But what consists of your WIP? All type of cost. Okay. So all cost. We need to calculate this include your material this includes your all activities that means your primary cost your secondary cost everything we are going to uh, we are going to include in the wip so here in this process this variance calculation or the wip calculation is comparatively critical than your cost calculation because for cost calculation all the settings are there the same costing seat we are going to use here okay so one by one we will we will see here so first activity, like uh, we have seen here, we are going to create the production order with reference to production order. We may analyze, it's not mandatory, it's just analysis. So we may analyze the cost. Then after that, we are going to release it. Then we will do the goods movement. Then we are going to receive the goods. But for this, uh, like uh, we need to confirm it, whether you are going to confirm fully or we are going to confirm partially. This is the thing about this step confirmation of your order right so that means confirm or partially confirm depending on all, all or some operations are confirmed then we are going to delivered or partially delivered so this is your dlv status this is your pdlv status so these are different activities we are going to perform in production order so uh, let's say you will get situation like uh, where no activity, we created the production order, no activity to be confirmed, no goods issue will be possible. So only we need to uh, apply here settlement activity. So that we are saying that take home, technically complete. Last CL, ST, closed. Again, no postings are permitted anymore. So as we know, production order is short living object. So it's just created from here and it's end here. So plant cost, 
we are going to calculate first on the basis of production order. So let's create one production order. And on that basis of production order, let's calculate or analyze the plant cost. Calculation is not required. It's already there. Just we will analyze this one. Then further, we will continue uh, other activities. So let's create a production order. CO01. Okay, so 282. So I will take here 282, automatically 287 will be included. That means we are going to get two production order because it is multi-level manufacturing. So semi finished stock includes semi finished stock also. 282. So we are going to create the production order. 282. And here my plant. And to create this production order, I already created under uh, in production one order type, just like you have the internal order before creating the internal order, we should have the internal order type. So similarly, we will create one or in production, they will create one production order type. So I created the production order type. In uh, order type, internal order type, we are, we are using expenditure. Here we are using, uh, I, let me save it, I will show you that also but we are going to take that as production. Otherwise it is same only. So order type C triple one, enter. So we are manufacturing five items. Now uh, schedule I don't have. So either you are going to, um, I mean in production, they will create first pr production uh, schedule. Then after that, they will create the production order or maybe they will create production order first. And then after that um, production schedule will be prepared. So it may be uh, backward or it may be like uh, towards uh, backward or frontward, you can say. So that's why I'm, I don't have anything. I will simply just take the current date and click enter. Okay, so in every step we can analyze whether we are going to get the error or not. So you always go to log Actually here system adopted multiple informations from different sources. We will see that, but before that, let's see the log. Is at, at this level, any error is there? No, no error is there. Right, so what are the informations we have? So first of all, you can see with this production order, can we process goods? Can we receive the goods? Yes, GR is activated and we can take the unrestricted stock. Can we, uh, here we have, uh, like this is nothing but your, uh, you can see this is your costing seat that is linked with here in production. We, we did those activities. Then we have uh, uh, this result analysis I need to explain. Then other areas like let's go to master data. So here it is nothing but your routing from routing it is integrated with this production order. So that information we are getting here and the bill of material we are, uh, we are getting here. Okay, and if you want to see the operations, how many operations we have. So this data again coming from your routing. So we have uh, one operations related to finished stock and it is the work center same what we created earlier. So that is maintained and what is the status now? CRTD. So it is only just created. So this is the operation. So like this you may have multiple operations will be there. But right now I have only one operations. And if you want to see the components, so to manufacture one finished stock, that is 282, we need one 287. You must be surprised where we got the 287. This is coming from the bill of material. And here you will find one, uh, two, uh, one uh, uh, semi-finished stock bin, uh, production order also. So to manufacture this 282, we need one SFG and we need one packing material. So this data is coming from our bill of material. As here we are manufacturing five items, so we need five packing materials and five semi-finished stock. So this operation, this components, we are getting it from the bill of material because in past we maintain our bill, bill of material accordingly. Check it.
okay one quantity is required one quantity 287 one quantity packing material 286 so same data is available here with this production or we are manufacturing five so one into five can we analyze the cost okay so here we have the option is there to calculate the cost let's calculate it so cost determine can we check that okay so here you can see some cost is calculated okay let's analyze it production order is not saved it at created mode only i'm analyzing here So all the informations are there you can see first of all actual cost is blank so that means no actual cost is so far there because we we don't have any actual activities right now so everything is your plan cost so plan cost if you'll see this is your semi-finished stock it is calculated then packing material is there then packing cost is there so this is your semi-finished stock one material this is your material this is your activity secondary cost 3003 then we have the production over it so 100 percent variance is there because actual cost is not at reported so it's only plant data total plant quantity total plant cost So what is the plant quantity here? Five. So plant quantity for five units we are we are manufacturing. So if this is okay. So what is this change in stock? Change in stock is nothing but this is your debit and this is your credit. So all these items are will be debited and change in stock. If we are going to receive this same item, then there will be credit entry. But just we calculate it. You see here you will not find any single document from the transaction point of view. If I'll take two days. So these are the old transactions we are getting. Uh, maybe earlier we posted something on this date. So that's why we are getting. But related to this current transactions, uh, we don't have anything, right? We don't have anything on this date. So let's take, let, let me take the current date. Maybe in past we post something. Let me take the current date. Okay, nothing is there. Nothing has been posted yet. It's just only analysis. We are just analyzing. If we are going to manufacture five items, then this will be your cost and all your plant cost or what we are saying that preliminary cost. So if everything is fine, then you may save it. Okay, so we can save it or before save we can release also so uh, you can save first and then after that we can release or you can save uh, release it then also you can save so there is there is no restriction what comes first and what comes next so we can directly release it so we can release the production order. Now you can see what are the status right now so the status is so far uh, the with this production order what are the things are done so it is created it is released okay and it is it's created it's released created and released two things are uh, there right now here we are getting a, a ctc because one settlement rule i applied because without applying the settlement rule we can't create the production order it will throw the error so i will come to that part once i will come to the period end. so that's why it's showing that settlement rule is available or a ctc uh, settlement uh, rule is applicable now save it. So we have just created one production order.
now with reference to this production order let's see if any other production order created or not so what is my production order num uh, production order number 10034 so now we are going to consider this 100344 as our cost object and we are going to do all the calculations on the basis of this production order Okay, so we have two production orders, 100343, 100344, 100343. By default, this one created because accordingly in past, we created our bill of material. So check this one. This is nothing but for your semi-finished product. Five items we are manufacturing. So uh, for FG, so for semi-finished product, material 287 is also, we are manufacturing five items there we entered. Now check its operations. Here also operation same, but work center is different. And here we have two activities, uh, two activity types are introduced. And if you'll see the components, here you have multiple raw materials. So to get one semi-finished stock, we need to use this many uh, raw materials. So here packing material is not there because packing material we are adding with our FG. So for semi-finished stock, we have operation one. So with this operation, two activity types are there and this many raw materials are there. So that means next we are going to do the goods movement. Uh, okay, for that means we need to issue 25 kg of raw material one, 15 kg of raw material two, and accordingly we need to um, perform or we need to conform the activities also. Here if you'll calculate the cost, uh, sorry, you will analyze the cost Again, here, we don't have it role here. This activity is, it will be done by the production people. Once the month end work will start, then only CO involvement will be there. <coughs> we just give them the costing seat, job done. Okay, so here we are not getting anything. It will be there because uh, it's a sub sub one, I mean sub production order. So it will be there once we will have some transactions. So we will we can check that one. So already we analyze the cost with our main production order. Next we are going to do some goods movements or we are going to issue some materials. Any question up to this? Okay, so next we are going to do the goods movement. So we are going to issue the goods. So this is nothing but your consumption. So now you will find uh, the congestion activities, I mean material consumption activities. So it is nothing but the same. We are going to issue the goods. So what will be the accounting entry? So your accounting entry will be your material consumption account is going to debit and your raw material account is going to credit here with one cost object and the cost object will be here the production order okay i suppose to show you that production order so let me first show you production order type so under production So this is our production order, just like your internal order type, similarly production order type. So with this production order type, I assign one settlement profile. So why we need this settlement? Once we'll come to the period, um, that time we will see. It's just I created, I will show you this one also. 
But right now, the reason why I applied here, because until unless I will not add one settlement profile, production order will throw error. So that's why it's created, but it is very simple. Just we created one production order with some basic information, so other information we don't have. Production point of view, just I applied one settlement profile. Okay, if you don't have access to the settlement profile, or let's say to production, that also we can access from our controlling as well. So it is mostly it will be handled by production people, but uh, like we want to analyze, or we want to see this one from the controlling also, we can check that. Same string, we are going to get it from the production. So here you, we have all the internal orders are there, one category internal order, 10 production order. Okay, so if we'll check, it is exactly same what we have the internal order. So we created the internal order. So in our COPA, we created this internal order. You just compare both, it is same. One that is for controlling, 10 is for production. That is the only difference, otherwise everything is same. So here what we did, we created one internal order uh, type, right? So this is the number range. <coughs> Object class is overhead. That means it is only for cost consumption purpose we are using it for the overhead. <coughs> Whereas this one for the production purpose. So there also we are applying one settlement profile. Here also you can see settlement profile is there. And here also it is also settlement profile is there. So same rule everything. Only thing is this one we are handling and that one is handled by production people. Otherwise, there is no difference. Okay, so next we are going to issue the goods. Mego. So Mego is not only the, uh, like earlier in ECC, you must be use here the MB1A. But right now MB1A is not applicable. If you follow the nodes also, you will you will land it with your Mego only. Suppose, uh, I'm just going to follow the production node. So logistic, production, soft floor activities. Then you have goods movement. Then goods issue. Okay, so Migo, goods issue and goods receipt Migo. But in ECC here you will find MB1A, that is for your goods issue, for receipt MB1C, and for MM point of view, it is Miko. But here everything is same Miko. So I just forgot that production order. One triple zero three double four. One triple. One triple zero three double four one triple zero three double four. So let's three. Uh, what is that? Three four three. Three four three. This one for SFG. This one for FG. Now suppose let's say I will take this production order. Okay, and I will issue the goods. So this is not goods received. It is goods issue with reference to order, production order, getting the error, not coming. Two times, okay, okay. Uh, I, actually, I was trying to show you one error. Uh, error is, for example, if I, here also one material is there. Suppose, assume that with this production order, no material is there. It is only goods received. So then system will throw the error with, this is not a right production order because with this material, you are not going to actually issue any goods. You are only going to receive the goods. So I was trying to show you that error because I forgot that this production order also includes one uh, material. So with this production order, we are going to also issue the material. So make sure that you need to select the correct production order when you are going to do the goods movement. So with this 343, we are going to issue the goods. With this, we are going to issue and receive both. So with this, we are going to receive the finished stock and we are going to issue the packing material. So select the production order.
Okay, so this many raw materials we are going to consume. Okay, so this data we got it from the production order and we are going to issue this many raw materials. Now we will get the accounting document. Okay, so this document is your logistic document and its corresponding accounting document is Okay, so we got this many accounting documents here. So one accounting document 49005. So this should be there in your AC doc. Okay. Goods issue. Four nine zero zero five. Okay, you can see controlling document that is your cost object document, which is cryptic because data flow from logic to, to controlling and material ledger is also updated here. So we have issued some materials, from raw materials. So related to 281 raw material. So we it's a consumption with reference to production order. 25 kg raw material consumed and this much cost will be there. So material ledger is also updated. Then cost object controlling point of view, there is no information. I mean, <laughs> separate document is not there. And accounting document is as usual, your GBB and raw material, BSX and GBB. So this document, there is no change. The only thing is instead of multiple documents, we have only one document and uh, that document will be there in your AC doc as your material consumption. Pradeep, here you issued only the first raw material instead of all three for the... Okay, right, right. I did the mistake. I forgot to check that one. Okay, I will, uh, I will, once again, I will reprocess. Three line items are there. Okay, let me complete that one. Still two items are pending. Okay, so here raw material consumption, three line entries are there. I just forgot to process in once, so that's why two documents are there. Otherwise, in one document, we can process. So 49005, 49006, so two documents are generated, and these documents should be there in your universal journal as your material consumption. Four nine zero zero five and four nine zero zero six. So with these documents, you can see your cost objects is there. So coin is recorded, cost object is there. So with reference to logistic, this one is updated and material ledger information also it is updated. So that means we can from AC doc we can get uh, like uh, the <clears throat> accounting informations, we can get the inventory informations and we can get the cost object and for your reference here cost object is your 
production order so to we issued the material to production order so it should be there so this is your integration g double b that is your offsetting entry for stock that means nothing but your consumption account and bsx is your raw material so this one is debit and this one is your credit So your order is your cost object here, 100343. And uh, the document you will find cryptic for controlling the same concept, whatever we discussed earlier, same rule is applicable here. So it should be cryptic document. Okay, so from AC doc, we have all the informations are there. Goods movement, done. Uh, um, here uh, we, <clears throat> next we are going to confirm our activity types. Okay, so we have uh, other one is also there. So that we will do but before that we will confirm our operations because we have activity types also we need to issue so that uh, we can in because uh, here we issue the raw materials in fact this type is not required if you don't want to separately issue the raw materials in conform step also we can issue the goods material i mean so once with one production order i shown you separately that is uh, um, how we can issue the goods separately otherwise with the second production order there itself in confirmation i will show you how to issue the goods and there itself we can how to confirm the operation both options are okay only thing is here we have to do two steps there it will be only one step so next we are going to confirm our production order so here we are going to transfer our activity types also so I think that business transaction is not active. Is RKL is there? No, RKS is there, RKL is not there. CO double one N and this one also you will find under production. So what is our production order? So production order is one triple zero. This one, one triple zero three four three. This is our production order. Select your operation. Okay, so here uh, I already issued uh, the 100% one. So here we will get the variance and we will create one more. There we will take the WIP. Okay, so WIP is very important. So we will take that WIP, but I already issued the 100% raw materials, whatever is required. So let's take this one as 100% complete one. So here, this is my operation. Check actual data. So five items we are going to manufacture and five items are yield. So there is no WIP is there. Otherwise you can, uh, here you can go for, uh, uh, or let's do one thing. So any of the raw material is should. So other one we will take uh, WIP, let's say. Okay, so let's complete this one. This is anyway is our semi-finished stock. So semi for semi-finished product, we will not take consider any, raw, uh, any WIP. So 100% I'm going to confirm here. Here you can see goods movement option is there. So we can also directly issue the goods here. So two steps not required. So I will, mm, I, I can take this one and finished, okay. Then yield is five. So we are expecting 287 material, semi-finished stock, five items. And we are expecting, we are going to receive five items also post it 
ignore this message date issue order confirm with this order couple of uh, uh, documents will be there so at a time we will analyze so let me process the other production order so we issue some production order like if we'll see with uh, uh, let me let me issue the other one so here directly i'm going to issue material as well as operation confirmation point of view so i will take the production order if you have multiple operations then you have to select operation one two three like this select your operation now here yield is five five finish item but i am assuming that we are not going to receive five items here we are going to receive four items so one items we will consider as semi-finished stock accordingly this one also i'm going to change so this is your activity to be confirmed so let's instead of five uh, let's make it this one also i'm going to take as four goods movement so automatically here also it is changed once you will change your quantity there automatically here also instead of five the four quantities system is going to consume so add your storage location process it now you can see as we processed here also material you will find one consumption entry for your packing material consumption packing material consumption is there. So uh, although we are not process here uh, the MIGO, but still it is there. So in confirmation screen also we have the production uh, goods movement is there. So there also you can operate. Okay, so we need to receive that one. Here we don't have any receive option. Go for MIGO. Goods received. order the second production order so what we are receiving we are receiving the finish stock to 82 how many quantities four quantities so production order point of view everything <coughs> done so they created the production order they issued the goods they received the goods they confirmed the operations now let's see due to this what is the what are the financial impacts are there financial impacts we just now we saw here like we have some material consumptions are there now you can see how also we have received the goods finished stock we received Okay, so this, this item we have received. So with reference to our source document, the production order. So accounting document is 5002. So with reference to this production order, we have received the goods. Earlier we issued the goods. Here we have received the goods. So the goods movement done properly, 5002. So this must be there, this is goods received. But it is not 100% received. Instead of five, it's only four received. So one item should be there as your WIP that we need to evaluate in the month end. 
5002, the accounting document posted. But it's not the only one accounting document is posted here. Actually, we also transferred some activity from cost center to production order. So if you go to the, because everywhere you can see controlling document is also generated. So let's go to cost center report. Controlling point of view, important activities are not yet started. Just we collecting different cost. But as we did some logistic transactions, so we have some accounting entries are there. And <coughs> these are your accounting entry related to material issue and uh, 5002. 5002, this is your receiving of goods. Okay, so by triple zero two is also added here. Now check here. We have three activities, uh, three activity types are there. So we did some activity type movement, some quantities we moved from cost center to production order. So we need to analyze those. And we did all these activities in logistic. So, okay, let me add the business transaction here. Just ignore the other items, RKIB. So those are uh, in past we did some month and activities. So that's why. Uh, we will check here this 25th uh, entries. Why it is taking 25th January? Because uh, we are using here system delivered date, system date, system default date. So that's why production order point of view. That time you must notice like one production error was there, date error. Just ignore because we don't have the production schedule. So that's why. So assume that it is done on 25th January. So here 15 hours minus entry is there. 10 related to one activity cost, labor cost. 10 hours. Uh, related to machine setup cost, four hours. Here we changed, instead of five, we changed to four. So it is packing cost. So secondary cost element, something something is there. So as it is S4 system, so you will find the line items for your secondary cost elements also. Three thousand. 3,000, uh, no, 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 sorry, this, we will not, this, not this one, this one, okay. 3001, 3003. This is something new. So secondary cost elements are also generated the line items here. Right, and uh, this document also just have a note into this document, 2009. So you will see from where we got this document, 2009. This is nothing but your integrated document. So document number 2009, we will check that. So here you will see one minus entry and one plus entry. So minus entry definitely the production, sorry, uh, here uh, um, cost center because the sender cost object is cost center because initially we calculated the cost through cost center and transfer, we transfer to production order. So receiver will be production order. So that's why in cost center, you can see only the minus entries are there and plus entries will be there in the production order. So let's check the production order now.
so earlier uh, <clears throat> like uh, if you okay i forgot to take the screenshot so if you remember earlier it was updated as planned cost now you can see uh, something is updated as your actual cost but this actual cost right now we are not going to consider as actual cost it is known as your target cost right so because here so far if we'll see what is actual cost only the material we have we can consider as actual cost but again we have to recalculate our activity cost because whatever the transactions we have posted during the month that we on the on that basis we will calculate the new activity price on that basis we are going to consider overhead right now you can see overhead is missing so we need to add the overhead or we need to recalculate the overhead so that's why i told you in the beginning here period and activities are important not the cost calculation so so far you can see planned cost converted into target cost which we are saying that simultaneous costing so right now planned cost is not there so as we consume something actually so that's why actually actual cost is included here so let's take here total plan cost let's take your total <coughs> plan activity total plan quantity then your actual cost is there so plan actual quantity we will take total actual quantity okay so you can see here in our planned cost overhead was there 6.37 but in actual overhead is missing because we have not yet calculated the actual cost so as we have not calculated the actual cost so overhead is on actual uh, i mean overhead will be calculated on actual cost so once again we will recalculate this cost and we will get the overhead so right now you can see for actual overhead is missing then planned quantity you will see like your plan quantity was 5 so expected 5 yield will be there but actual receipt 4 and your plan cost it was like this figure and your actual cost all items it is missing okay so you can see some items are informations are there some item informations are there so although we are getting some informations but it is not fully uh, calculated it so once we will complete the period and activity and we will come here and we will check there you will find some end result will be there right now Uh, it's showing some values you can see so you can it is showing some uh, values here the minus figure it's showing so how it is calculated all this plus item and this credit item so credit item is nothing but change in stock as we have received some finished stocks here so that, that due to that there is a credit item showing in your production order because debit is there is your to your finished stock check that Okay, now I can remove this one. I mean, you got the line item, so I noted this two triple zero nine. Okay, so go to FBL three N. <clears throat> so first we calculated the cost. We transfer the cost to production order. Now from production order we transfer the cost to finished stock. FG stock. Okay, so five thousand one seventy three. Same here, five seventy three. So production order minus and cost transfer to finished stock. But still, you can see some difference figure is there. The difference figure is uh, it's not calculated properly. Uh, it is there at your target cost. Secondly, some WIP portion will be there. If we we'll go to your other production order, three four three. so here you can see only debit figures are there because here we are not receiving anything we calculated this cost this cost we transferred to finished stock so that's why here only the debit figures are there so all your raw material cost then your secondary cost i mean activity cost as labor cost machine cost everything and everything on the basis of your plan cost so this is your total plan cost and this is your actual cost okay so here you won't find much difference here 
whatever is your plant cost same is there your actual cost no difference is there variance is zero because we have not calculated anything so everything is calculated on the basis of plant cost so once we will complete the month end activity then this figure will be changed so let's do one thing let me take the screenshot and we will keep it so that in future we will compare it One triple zero three double four. Okay, so this is for this one. So we will come back once again. I mean, not uh, we will come back here once we have some period and activities are done. Now coming to this finance document. So we got another set of documents. This is only you will find in S4. That is your due to FICO integration point of view. So let's go to the document MB03. So CO document must be generated. Those for FICO point of view. Check it. Okay, so ignore these old documents. 31st January, we did uh, COPA settlement and all. We have these two documents, 2009 and 2010. Let's check whether it is there or not. Let me remove these documents. 2009, 2010. So how these documents are generated? These documents are generated Okay, 5002 is also there. Let's remove it. So this is CO2 FI postings. So with reference to some documents 1603, these finance documents are, these two finance documents are generated. And what is the transaction here? Our care. This is nothing but we transferred some uh, activity from one cost center to production order. So as a result, FIC integration point of view, these documents are generated. Okay, let's analyze those documents. Okay, let's check the complete flow first. Why two documents are there? Because we confirmed uh, two activity types. We have two operations one for production order one and one for production order two so what we did here let's follow from the beginning so we have created one production order okay this production order created then <coughs> we confirm the production order so here 100 percent yield five then we confirm the activities, okay, 15 hours, 10 hours, done. Due to this, we have some material movements are also there. So this is your logistic document where we issued uh, items. So wrongly at that time only I issued only this raw material. So this is my logistic document. As a result, my accounting document is there. So in this accounting document, we have only the material document is there. Although cost object is there, but that is cryptic. Second time, once again, I issued the raw material two and three. Due to that, we have the accounting document is there. Then with this operation, also we confirmed the quantities related to your activity type. So as a result, we got here the controlling document. Okay, so with reference to this document 1603, because it was there in your universal journal 1603. So with reference to this document, that finance document is generated. So what we did here, first of all, from where we got this cost, still we are using the planned cost because of in the beginning, we calculated our planned cost and we have evaluated this activity 
on the basis of plant cost. So that's why I'm saying in period end, once again, we will recalculate this activity on the basis of your actual cost. So now what we did here, we transferred the cost. So initially the cost was calculated. The cost was calculated with cost center. This is my cost center. This is my activity. So from there, I transferred to order. So that's why minus entry you will find cost center and plus entry with order. Here we have two activity types are there. So this line four from activity 1001, then my cost center is 9002. We transferred, cost center is common, only activity changed. 9001, my activity one, 9002, activity type two. So one is labor, one is machine. So that also we transfer here to this production orders. We did this activity in controlling and in S4 we know if you are going to do something controlling, we will get the finance documents. So that's why we have the finance documents are generated. So 52.50 and 10. So as a result, my accounting document also generated. So it is there in INR, let me change the currency to the document currency. document currency INR. So group currency is this one, 52.50 minus entry and uh, 52.50 plus entry. This one, one should be cost center and activity type. So sender here is your cost center. It is my finance document. I'm analyzing my finance document and this is my production order. So we transfer the cost to production order. So we got the FI document and as usual, it is generated with my real view. So it is, that's why it is only available with your when I run the report in BSEG, if you'll check, you will not get this one because already we know this document only it will be generated. If we'll check here, 3,300, these are the secondary cost elements are involved here, 3,001 and 3,002. So you won't get anything related to, it's not there. So if I will go to GL view, FSL03. Three zero zero one, three zero zero two. So you have the accounting documents are there, and this same document is there in your Universal Journal or AC Doc. Okay, this will not be there in your ECC because in ECC there is no FICO integration. CO to FI data flow will not be there. Okay, so second document is for the other activity type. Same. Then we have one more document. That is uh, this one. This is for the second production order. So we have created the production order here. Then we confirm the production order. Here you can see two material documents, but in one material document, uh, you can see there is outflow of material, that is material issue, packing material, packing consumption, and second one, receiving of finished stock. Let's check. So this is four items we received. As a result, your accounting document is generated. No, sorry, not this one. This one. Accounting document generated, FG stock debit, change in stock credit, and without any other documents, we have only the accounting document is there. No CO documents, nothing is there. All are cryptic. And uh, this is your packing material consumption. Material consumption debit, which is cost, and packing material credited. Here also we confirmed activity, we transferred the activity. So with reference to 1604, we have this finance document. So you can see the reference document is what? 1604. That's why we got this financial document. So here we transferred four items, four items from this activity, 9003 to this production order. And as a result, we got the finance document here. Okay, so this is something new. If we will check this one in group currency. Yeah. 
So CO and FI here also it is working parallelly and we have calculated the plant cost. Okay, we did some actual cost target cost also we have calculated, but all the period and activities are pending, which we need to complete first, then we will come back here and we will see what are the other document system is going to create and those documents should be there in your universal journal. And WIP is there because one item still it is pending. So that also needs to be calculated. Okay, so that should be there also in your universal journal or in SEDOC. Okay. 